Okay, Millie's present. Open it. <laughs> I said open it, Millie. I wonder whether she can... It smells doggy or something. She doesn't normally go for cardboard boxes like that, does she? Yeah. Can she open it? What's inside? We might have to open the top bit for her or something. It might also be in a plastic wrapper. Okay, just pull it slightly then and then... Oh, okay. What's that? <laughs> Do you like her straight in her bed with it? That's mine. <laughs> oh, look at that tail. Trying to make him friends with those. Oh, she loves it. Yeah. Wait, so we got her other pedal Well, we'll wait a minute, yeah. See if she's happy with that one for now. Let's keep the happiness going, shall we? That's so cute. You love that, don't you? What else did we get her? Tennis balls! They smell like doddies. They smell oh, okay. like pets. You try to rip the net, are you? Okay, be careful with scissors. You spotted the tennis balls, didn't you? Yeah, I'm glad you like your duck, though. <gasps> Did I just squeak? It's a DC one. There, it did. She's trying to do it again. She's so clever. And her other present is a little bed for the front room. I'm going to have to tuck that under because it's going to annoy me. So she's got a new bed, some toys, and she's happy squeaking. Follow the squeaks to find the mills. Here she is. Are you happy? Do you like all that? Is that nice? Do you like it? Are you excited? Well, <laughs> haven't we had uh, an experience? So Millie yesterday decided that she would walk out in front of a van. I couldn't get her on the lead in time. And uh, so it was my fault completely. Couldn't get her on the lead in time. And a van went past, she ran in front of it, hit, got hit. Um, then somehow like managed to walk around to the side, got hit again. And I guess because the man, the van was moving and she was going towards it, she kind of spun around. Um, so I pulled her to the side of the road. She seemed to be okay. She was walking okay. The man, bless him, like stopped the van and reversed and was like asking if she was okay. And I was just so apologetic. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's completely my fault. I think I had this panic that he was going to shout at me. <laughs> so I was just like, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. Um, but anyway, she went home. She wasn't acting her usual self. She was quite, um, just quiet, laid down. Her ears were back, kept an eye on her. She seems absolutely fine. So she's absolutely fine today. But now this means she's grounded. She's on a lead and we will be doing a lot more training. So we've done a little bit of training with her. She just gets easily distracted. So like, let's see, let's see if she'll do it now. Lily, stop. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Stay. 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 Ooh, beautiful birds up there. Okay, good girl. Come on then. So that's pretty good. Actually, my neighbour just said, oh, you'll see some birds up there in a flock. I can't remember what he said now, but he said they're quite rare and they squeak. So that must be what they, these are. I don't know what they are, though. don't know if they're coming back. Anyway, back to Millie. I'll show you the birds again if they come back this way. Um, she's great until she's distracted by something. So if there's other dogs, a car. Ah, ah, come. I'm trying to get her to walk next to me by wrapping the lead around my hand and bringing her really close. 
obviously not now while I'm filming. Um, and that I'm finding really difficult. She's just pull, pull, pull. Um, she's okay for about a minute, and then she goes back to her usual self. Um, I'm just going to put her on the lead because I can hear something coming. I don't know if you can hear that. Cows are going absolutely crazy. Really? So she's twisted me up, so I'm going to walk around. She's got to walk on this side of me. Good girl. I'll show you what I'm doing with the lead. So we just had two cars go past us. She came up on the side of the road. See if we can get her to now. Come. Good girl. Stop. Sit. Millie, sit. Good girl. Stay. When they went past, she lifted her bum up, so I had to push her bum back down. But... She did really good, I know. Okay. She's like, what, you're talking to me? <laughs> okay, so yeah, lead-wise. Because it's a slip lead, it has to be... Millie, stop. Stop. Like, behind her ears. She keeps thinking I'm taking it off and I'm moving it up. So it has to be up here. Then you have to wrap it around so that it's tight. Have the loop on that side. So that if she goes too fast, I can pull up... And it will stop her a little bit. But as soon as she loosens it, obviously the lead loosens. So she's doing pretty well. And then every time she steps too much in front of me, I am turning around, walking backwards, pulling her next to me again. So doing pretty good. Good girl. Good girl. We used to use the canny collar, but she hated it so much. And she used to rub her nose on the floor. You can chase the leaves. There's a bed. Yeah, she used to rub her nose on the floor and make it bleed all the time. So we stopped using that and this one seems to be better. This one she doesn't pull so much. <sighs> so we're getting there. Just going to take it slow. Thing is, when we're out and about, I'll loosen it now. When we're out and about, she's she won't have treats. <laughs> so I can't distract her with treats at all. She likes fun too much. So anyway, wear her out a little bit more. Take her back. And I'm just going to make sure I train with her every single morning now so that she doesn't get hit again. Good girl. That being said, it's nice and quiet, so I'll let her off the lead a second. <clears throat> and we're going to try some recall. Let's try this. She used to be really good at it. Let's see if she still is. Oh, she comes up to me and I haven't even called you yet. Millie, come. Come. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Okay, come on then. That was good. Good girl, come on then. Gotta get a little bit of energy out at least. Oh, so anyway, I think she's done, she is really good. I just need to make sure as soon as I see a car, I get her to come, put the lead on, and hold it tight close to me so that she can't run off into a bloody van. Um, other than running into a van, the other problem we've got is dog reactivity. So she can be, she's fine with the spaniels around here. Um, there's a lady now that's moved in, I think. Um, well, I've only recently started seeing her anyway. With, turn the camera around. Oh, it's got windy. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so yeah, she's got two dogs. One's always on a lead and one isn't on a lead. The one that isn't on a lead, car. Come on, come. Stop. Lead. Good girl. Stay. 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 It's working. Stay. Stay. Okay, go on. Um. That was good. So the one that isn't on a lead ends up running up close to Millie, growling. I've got Millie on a lead. So then Millie starts growling. So obviously because Millie's a big German Shepherd, it then sounds a lot worse than it is. And then everyone gets scared of my dog. And I'm like, my dog didn't start the thing. Um, but yeah, she seems like a nice lady. So hopefully that Millie and this dog will just eventually get along once they start seeing each other more. Um, but for now just I can't even distract her like all the trainers just say distract her distract her I can't distract her there's like she won't get distracted by treats I can call her try and play with her get her favorite toy still nothing as soon as she sees another dog that's it um 
so I think the only thing that's working at the minute is to keep the lead nice and tight rips my blooming fingers apart um, this is like a nylon-y lead I wrap it around so it can't pull so much but oh, it still hurts um, leave it good girl I don't know what that was but she listened um and yeah and just walk fast past other people so that's the plan um but yeah we now have a one-year-old who nearly got run over but she's fine <laughs> okay we are day two of training possibly day two day three i don't even know um started off very badly oh my goodness pull 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 on the lead then we went past, or well, horses had to come past us. So I got run to the side like we do with cars. She did that really good. And then she, I had the lead like wrapped around me and uh, she decided to pull right as the horses were next to us. Pulled me over, slipped it because the grass is wet. So I slipped on my bum. Um, she was about half a meter from the horse's leg. Little bugger. Um, oh, got a spider on me. So, um, anyway, I don't think the horse lady saw because she was, by that point, she was in front and there was, she was, had the other horse on the lead. Um, oh my God. So, yeah. So, I was a bit annoyed because then she's pull, pull, pull. So, I'm like yanking her on the lead. And I don't know if it's because Matt took her out this morning without the lead. So she thought she can just run free again. So she's being a pain in the ass for me. I don't know. Um, oh my God, I'm boiling now. It's freezing when I left. That's because I've been yanking the lead out her. Uh, but anyway, then she heard a car coming before me. Obviously their, their ears are very good. So she heard a car, dragged me to the side of the road. So she knows at least when a car comes, she go to the side. Um, but yeah, another day, another training. Let's try this. Ready? Come. Here we go. Stop. Sit. Millie, sit. Sit. Millie, sit. Just not, just not want to listen today. Sit. Good girl, stay. Let's see if I can cross the road without her. Stay. 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 Okay, come. Good girl. Good girl. Stop. Stop. Good girl. Okay. See, see what I mean? She's brilliant when there's no distractions. As soon as there's a distraction of a car or a horse or another dog, I've lost her. <sighs> but I'm just going to keep walking up and down every day in hopes that we do cross things so that she learns. <laughs> so anyway, day three. Ugh. We have a win. Oh my goodness. So we walked back down the hill and um, the lady with the horses was walking back up the hill and it went brilliantly. I initially, initially, initially stopped with Millie with the lead. And I think this is the problem. When I stop, I think she can probably feel my tension because I'm getting tense because I know she's going to lunge. Um, but I thought, no, I'm, there's, there was enough space this time to get her up on the grass and just to keep walking past her. I kept her on my left side, like away from the horses and just kept on walking and she just completely ignored them. I just said, leave it, leave it. I shouted to the lady on the horse, said, sorry, I'm trying to make her less reactive. Um, and she went straight past. So I praised her a lot. Now she's thirsty. And uh, yeah, that was really good. So sometimes, the problem is sometimes we're in a little country lane where I can't keep walking because I have to pull over in like a, you know, a bit where there's a farm gate so that we're out of the way of the horses because if I walk past them, I'm too close. And if she lunges, she's going to just step right under the horse. So sometimes I can't do that. It's not possible. Um, but today, it was good. So just going to keep doing this every single day with her. And fingers crossed, she will get better. I mean, she's only just one. So 
apparently German Shepherds don't calm down until they're about two. <laughs> so another year of training, I think, and uh, leash walking, and then hopefully she will calm down a little bit more. Thank you.